It is Sunday, October 3rd, and today we're at Hollywood Studios. It's later in the day already, it's like four. We just mobile ordered from Rosie's All-American Cafe, uh, frozen apple ciders. It says it has green apple bobas on it. So we'll see if this time they have green apples. Last time we got it from the back lot, red apple bobas. I'm gonna see if there is actually, it shows in the picture green apple bobas. We'll see what happens. Real reason we're here is for tonight, when the sun goes down, the Beacons of Magic little projection show thingy is going to be up on the Hollywood Tower of Terror. We haven't seen that in person yet. Well, just started like Friday, right? This definitely has the red apple bobas in it. it. It keeps saying green on the menu, so I think maybe it's got to be green somewhere, right? I'm just going to keep ordering until I find a green one. Not all today, though. What does it taste like, Bubbies? It tastes like apple, kind of. Like but apple it, cider? Yeah, kind of, but I don't really like apple cider too much. What? Yeah. So you don't like it? I mean, I like it, but it's not the best. But the boba's are good. Like, it, Riley, do you like apple cider? And it tastes good, right? And they put, like, a ton of boba's on there. I like the boba's. They're four ninety nine, so it's one of the cheaper yeah, Halloween treats here. The boys are off to the rock and roller coaster without me. I mean, I would have gone if I didn't have all these. We're heading into the Beauty and the Beast musical. Last show of the day, five o'clock. Proposed by the Haggard of the Ovens, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old no. to worry. We'll keep it simple. Hi! Stop! Stop it, I say. Do you hear me? All of you. I said quiet! Be your guest, be your guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. Soup to sure, on a dance, why we only look to serve. Try the grace that fits the edges, don't be in the aspirations. And when we touch, we didn't shut right my heart. Just ignore, but then she's never looked at me that way before. Maeve was not a fan of Gaston, and she really likes Chip and Mrs. Potts. But about half of that show she basically hates. Now we're gonna order a mobile order from the ABC commissary for dinner. How's rocking? Good. Favorite roller coaster ever? No. This caramel apple tart used to be in the Halloween section to mobile order from the commissary and now <laughs> it's just in the regular section and they have a 50th medallion on it. I think they think that's like a 50th treat now. Pork tacos. Most of the kids got a ham and cheese. Ham and grilled cheese sandwich. Big garage. Those jokers 
Dad, Bobby's Riley, and Finnegan are heading over to Rise of the Resistance. It's 6.45 at night and there's only a five minute wait on Alien Swirling Saucers and Toy Story Mania. Come on, let's go on our ride. Oh, I don't know about that. I should note that the Rise of the Resistance line was only 35 minutes long. BB-8, prep the ready room for reverts. There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields! We got company! First order tank fighters! What's that? Yeah. Our career as resistance fighters is not off to a great start. We made it to Toy Story Land. Is this one of your favorite places, Quinn? One of your favorite places ever? Okay, we're gonna, we have to park the stroller first. Okay, you know where to go, I guess. This is how you know Alien Swirling Saucers isn't busy because they have one whole side closed down. Are you ready for this, dude? Uh, Maeve, ready for some swirling saucer action? <laughs> first, which is uh, Spaceship Earth at Epcot. Say bye Hollywood Studios. See you next time. We need to come back for some 50th treats. I'm tired. Oh, you're tired. Yep. Oh, Maeve sees Pluto up there. Yeah, there goes Pluto. Say bye, puppy.